What's happening, people? I hope you're all well. So, Alexander Yusik defeats Daniel Dubois in the, what round was it? The ninth round of their fight. And let, let, me, just, let me just come out and say this straight away. Daniel Dubois gave Alexander Yusik trouble. Daniel Dubois, in my opinion, just my opinion, he scored a knockdown in what round was it? Round five. In round five, he legitimately knocked Alexander Usyk down. And judging by the reaction from Alexander Usyk, we could very well have seen Alexander Usyk counted out if that was in different circumstances. So, but then again, if he saw a count, it might have spurred him to get up. But that was a legitimate knockdown by Daniel Dubois to Alexander Usyk, in my opinion. I'd love to know what you all think about that. Now, the fight started off. People fought Daniel Dubois, and it was of my opinion that Daniel Dubois should start fast. He didn't. He actually tried to box with Usyk a bit to his detriment because Usyk was able to get his foot on the outside of Dubois' foot, establish lead hand control, start landing the southpaw jabs. However, Daniel Dubois showed he was able to establish some success to the body, including that knockdown. And whenever he hit U6 to the body, U6 output would decrease significantly and immediately. So future opponents are going to be watching out for that. Now I thought that, so I gave the first two rounds to U6. And then I had the third round of draw. Um, Dubois started to come into this fight after a few rounds. Um, I gave Dubois rounds, round number four. I gave him round number five. I gave him round number six. And actually I had him winning the fight halfway through. Because I counted the knockdown. I don't care. I counted the knockdown. However, Daniel Dubois started to tire a little bit as I thought might happen and Alexander Usyk started to turn the pace up. He, he was landing his jab consistently through the fight and then he started to apply the angles and that is where Daniel Dubois started to have trouble with the angles that Usyk was giving him. He was getting turned and he wasn't able to plant his feet, he was having to reset and um, Whenever Alexander Usyk got Daniel Dubois on the back foot, it looked very, very awkward for Daniel Dubois. Almost to the point where something could happen and it not to the um, benefit of Daniel Dubois. And then it got to, it was round, the first knockdown I believe was in round eight. And Daniel Dubois looked to have injured himself. Now he injured himself against Kevin Lorena. He injured his leg against Kevin Lorena. And I think that was because of the knockdown. Then, if you know, going even further back against um, Richard Latte, he actually injured himself again. Um, when he got hit with a right hand, his leg did a weird move, and his his leg got injured against Kevin Lorena. And I think his leg went again in this fight because I saw punches land, but I saw him take bigger punches before that that combination. And when he went down, it didn't look like a delay reaction to me. It looked like he injured himself. And he voluntarily took a knee. And it actually looked like he weren't going to get up potentially. Because he got up at 9. It was a very close run thing. And then in the next round. He, he, he went on the floor from a jab. And I don't think that jab was the reason he went down. I think that he came out in that round. He knew he was injured. He didn't look right coming out in that round. And he went down from that jab. Because he mentally had checked out the fight. That's my that's my opinion. I don't know if it's true. It's my opinion. Now he done this get he done this against Joe Joyce. So, you know, I said before, you know, if a fighter quits, I'm not necessarily going to say condemn them to being a quitter because Vitali Klitschko quit against um, Chris Bird, I think his name was, and then he never quit again, and he proved himself against Lennox Lewis. So some fighters will quit once and say, Do you know what, no, I'm not going to quit again. Some fighters will continue to quit. For me, that was Daniel Dubois quitting again. 
for me, he quit against Joe Joyce and he quit against Alexander Usyk. Now, I'm not calling him a coward because I'm not the one taking a punch from Joe Joyce. I'm not the one taking punches from Usyk. I'm just calling a spade a spade. He quit in the fight, both fights. So I have to look at that going forward with regards to Daniel Dubois. Now, just to very quickly round off, Alexander Usyk gets the win in a fight that was actually competitive, in my opinion. That was a competitive fight. I think he made more of a fight of it than Anthony Joshua in the first fight. Maybe not the second fight. Um, has Alexander Usyk slowed down? Possibly. He didn't look as fast to me as he did in the second Joshua fight. Um, he wasn't giving the same angles. And for me, it looks possible that he is slowing down, which is no surprise at the age of 36. And that style does not age well. The style we are using, speed, um, you know, a, far, uh, a high work rate, um, and you're using angles and being agile, that style doesn't age well. So is Daniel, is Alexander Usyk on a decline? I think so. Now, how far he is on the decline, that's another story. I don't think he's a shot fighter, but I think he's on the decline. As for Daniel Dubois, where does he go? For, where does Usyk go from there? I want to see him fight Fury. And judging on that performance, as soon as possible, because he is on the decline. I think both of them are on the decline, if I'm honest with you. I think Fury is on the decline. You want to watch in his footwork against Chisora, his foot speed, rather. Foot speed, one of the first things to go. And I think Usyk's on the decline. I think Usyk's been on the decline for a while, actually. Um, but yeah, Dubois, he needs to think about his future in sport, because... I can't see him being, one, is he going to keep getting injured on that, on that leg, or whatever leg injury or knee injury he has, two, his mentality. So he needs to think about his future in the sport, despite the fact he was competitive in this fight, and despite the fact that he's got talent. So those are my thoughts, what are your thoughts, let me know. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, hit the notification bell so you get a notification when I make a new video, and I'll see you on the next video.